All right, guys. Day number two. This is the bow blind that I'm sitting in today. Pretty sweet. Got my buddy Francois with me. I saw him in Texas uh, a few years ago. He's the, the jackal killer. But uh, pretty sweet setup here. Got some water, some salt. Looks like a pretty far shot. I'm gonna have to get a range on all that, but still don't know what we're going for. We're just gonna see what comes in and go from there. Blood, and then we can put the tracking dog 
dogs on him. Arrow broke out. Got my iron well back. Unfortunately, we replayed the footage, like I said, and you can see in the slow mo that he ducked the arrow. Uh, basically went from standing straight up to on his knees when the arrow got to him and that's just part of bow hunting but I didn't film it the trackers actually tracked this Impala and caught up to him and uh, he was moving fine and then the next morning Francois went and drove around and actually got a glimpse of him and he was still doing fine so if, uh, if an animal in Africa makes it through the night after uh, being hit uh, they're chances of living are probably pretty high so super bummed on this but i um, hoping that he lived through it and uh, he's a warrior he's an old 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 ram so uh, it was very unfortunate but that's just the way bow hunting goes sometimes well back in the greatest place on earth Namibia Africa back in the bow blind got my bow tech just got in the blind got my mavens and uh, we're in my favorite blind at Drikus's place. There's old broadhead. We're gonna be using iron wheel broadheads today. And uh, we don't really know what we're going after yet. So this is the watering hole. And uh, it's super, super windy. So we may not get any action at all. Tomorrow is when the wind's supposed to calm down. It's supposed to get good. So we'll see what happens. Y'all sit tight, enjoy. Hopefully we get some action.
Good morning, everybody. Another day in paradise. Back in the bow line, I got my dad with me today. And uh, we're gonna see what comes in. So, had an awesome few days already here in Africa. Everybody's been putting some stuff down. So, time to try uh, get back in the bow blind and see what happens. Got the old broke horn water buck. Finally, he came back in for the second time. I was gonna shoot the, there was a super old red hearted beast. His tips were all worn down and everything. He never gave me a shot and that water buck came back in. We replayed the footage. It's a good shot, maybe a hair far back than I would have liked, but it's a long shot all day long. So we watched them run a long ways though. They're super tough animals, so 
called Drikus. He's gonna come with some trackers and some dogs, tracking dogs. So um, we're gonna give him plenty of time. It'll take him about 30 minutes to get here, and uh, I think we'll find him. I think I think it's good. The old Botec did its job, and I know the Iron Wheels broadheads will do their job. So. I'll see y'all whenever Drikus gets here, and hopefully we'll go uh, recover him. All right, guys, you can see the tracking dogs. They're already on it. So, cross your fingers. Oh yeah, you can see his track. Oh. Holy cow. Kill it. Like a wolverine. It's a badger. That thing popped out of that hole. <laughs> what is that, a badger? That hurts you, huh? <laughs> Go back in your hole, dude. Smells like a skunk. Got him, guys. That's the exit. Thankful we got him. That's awesome. Well, guys, you know I love to clean animals, but Africa is kind of a different place, and these guys are paid to do it, so Rika said let them do their job. Trade. Let's see what these guys think of. I'm gonna let these guys get to work. We're gonna go uh, eat some lunch and get back out there. Talk to the chef and see how we want to prepare the water buck. Amigo! Yes? Yes, amigo, good day. Welcome to another episode of Amigo's Wallet Man. Thank you. It is a uh, water buck, tartar steak, water buck. Uh, Steak but, and cut already because. And this is a uh, water sauce, pickles, 
uh, chopping onions, mm -hmm. mustard, uh, mustard. These four ingredients. One of the secrets for the, for uh, this this four and this one. Eh? This one is optional. You see, when you put this one, there is a little thicker. It's very bad for mayonnaise. It's very it's very thicker. So you can choose the mayonnaise or olive oil. Okay. And the eggs in the end those. And what are we making? A tartar steak. Oh, tartar. Woo! Tartar steak. So we will start with the pepper. Does it have to cure? Yeah, they have to cure it, but that's why you also add the Worcestershire sauce. Salt. And then uh, the pickles and the salt, so then you let it stand for a bit and then it's perfect. So be ready for dinner? Yes. Perfect. The onion is going to be two spoons, you know. I was made this mess before. This is um, the, the pickles I said. But of pickles, yeah. sweet and sour. And the water sauce. And then mix it through, amigo. Yes. When you mix through, this one. Add some mustard. Take that tonight with a piece of fresh bread, mm -hmm. homemade bread. That will be perfect. The mayonnaise. I'm choosing this with mayonnaise. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay. Amigo, what did you say? You're going to add some homemade bread to that tonight? Yes, tortillas. <laughs> 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 homemade bread. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, y